look at the mock stem effect, M-A-C-H. Mock stem effect is what happened in the Oklahoma City bombing when Timothy McVeigh set off his truck. He accidentally had the right standoff from the Murray Federal Building to almost double the power of the bomb by having it timed so that the two shock waves, the direct shock wave and then the reflection from the Earth's surface, all hit the building at one time. I used to sell the devices that did that. The U.S. military spent a tremendous amount of money in World War II figuring this out with um, proximity fuses, okay? So the proximity fuses are set uh, in order to get the most effect out of a 2,000 pound bomb or a nuclear device or whatever. I think that the, the concerns about fallout are over a bit overcooked. The, it's certainly an issue and, and it's exactly correct. If you hit the ground and you blow up more dirt and uh, debris and concrete dust that gets irradiated, then you have, that is the definition of fallout, whether it's dangerous or not. But in terms of burrowing nuclear weapons, that's is hard. It is not trivial, as we used to say. 